Welcome back. It's time for some economy. Oh, no. Economy, you say? Yes, indeed. No, I'm not interested in migration. We can actually join their federation if you want to. Not really interested at the moment. Aurelium Ore, what will you give me for this? I want energy, which they're not too keen on. Okay. Um, do you have any strategic lethargic gas? Okay, what does lethargic gas do again? Shield hit points plus 15%. It's actually quite good. Uh, are you okay with energy? Yes. Four energy a month. Three energy a month. Okay. Let's not do any energy because we don't have too many of that. There we go. Two minerals a month for 30 years for the 30 gas for an aurelium ore. I think this is a good idea because it will allow us to get plus 15% uh, plus on our shields, which is quite significant. And on top of that, do they still have access to that space? Can I move out? Oh my god, my economy is in the plus. Let's move out there and uh, get these uh, get these ships. What did I upgrade for again? I can't remember. Let's upgrade you guys first, just in case. The Han Falir have opened their borders to us. Alrighty then. They kind of like us now. Is it because of the mutual threat? Is there a mutual threat bonus? No, there is not. Interesting. How about these guys? Still genocidal, apparently. Oops. Uh, how about these? How about these guys? Uh, their fleet is equivalent to us. We have a war from who against who? Okay, the Felno Restorers are at war now with the Ubaric Union of Stars. Potentially a problem. Uh, we may need to go and actually join this alliance at some point. How, how They're equivalent to us and they're friendly. We can't ask to join the Federation. Uh, okay. It will cost us two influence a month? I don't think so. How big is this Federation anyway? Who's in this? The Yondar Kingdom which is these scrubs over here that are pathetic and the Bahav that's the Bahav the Grand Duchy the Oklar Confederacy which are these guys that are inferior and pathetic to us as well so they're not really worthwhile I'd rather have you join my empire let's go and take this uh, enigmatic fortress once and for all Let's take a science ship with us as well. Uh, a pretty decent one. Let's move out. And let's uh, take keep a look on Barstool as well. Uh, edict list. Uh, we don't have enough resources at the moment to get these uh, to get this party rolling, but yeah. Cool. Uh, we need some food as well. Uh, is there some decent food tiles that we can use? Let's go for the this one right here. Uh, we can build a frontier clinic on it, uh, but let's go for a hydroponics farm instead. Okay. It's finally here. Wow. And it's it's taken so long. Normally, I would use all this stupid um, diplomacy. Scientist has died. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's get a new guy in there. Uh, anything good? Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't really care. And that's assist us research. But yeah, this... Oh, my lord. Oh, my law. Oh, it looks so sexy. And yes, I still have the crazy camera mod enabled. Oh, oh, no, 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 stop. Great, I got... Now I got that on the interface. It's control F9, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, why why do I even have this on my goddamn screen? Thank you. Recording has been saved. I, I really need to change those hotkeys. But yeah, I'm using the uh, cinematic camera mod, even though right now the uh, the Steam Workshop tells you that the, that it is broken. It does work, which is something I'm rather happy about. Uh, can we go even slower? Yes. Let's make this look badass, and we can just do it like this. Oh yeah, look at that. Hostile fleet engaged as we're getting in uh, 
within range of this, yeah, it's getting inside of the suppression field. Uh, some of my yeah, some of my ships are instantly being being wrecked here, which is to be expected. But we can we can take the uh, we can take the enigmatic fortress with relative ease. So that shouldn't be much of a problem. Not entirely sure what my ships are currently doing. But they are entering the uh, suppression field, so... Hey, this is a savannah world, which is colonizable. That's surprising. But yeah, we can get all the way into the, uh, into the ancient vaults' as business. There we go. And the, uh, the cannons are starting to fire. That's nice. Very nice indeed. Let's take down this one and just enjoy the fighting for a little bit. You know, it's every once in a while we're just always like, "Yo, we want some, we want some shooting." Yeah, I do too. We got some of these uh, old school weapon systems still up and running. It says that the fighting is basically fifty-fifty, but I'm pretty sure. We should have a relatively easy time taking down these uh, enemy ships, even though they are popping our ships quite, quite quickly. Ah, there's the Tachyon Beams from our capital ships. Doing a lot of good damage there. Very nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm moving on slowest right now, so the game itself is not actually that quickly. And it looks like all the missiles are coming in. There are the torpedoes. Very nice. So let's pause that for a second and make it look a little bit more cinematic. There it is. Oh, yeah. Hot. Mm. Sexy. With all the, with all the uh, Stormfire cannons, they're all just completely ripping this thing apart. Its shield are completely being destroyed right now. So as soon as we got their shields down, we should be able to uh, start popping them off. And this will be a nice walkthrough as well, the Enigmatic Fortress, for those that haven't actually seen it yet. Uh, there's a video about it. I think it's got like 70,000 views right now or something along those lines. But yeah, the Enigmatic Fortress, arguably one of the best uh, Leviathans that is available from the Leviathans expansion. Uh, the resort, the things you can get out of it is so incredibly powerful. Uh, you you literally, you literally have no other choice than to get it. There we go. It's one of the guardians down. One of the defense platforms, at least. Let's uh, have the science ship uh, survey the star because we may need it later on. Okay, Tachyon's still firing. There's not a Guardian down. Yeah, Ancient Defenders are being popped left, right, and center. I probably lost a couple of minor ships here because they do have Stormfire Cannons of their own, as well as uh, these artillery units. And they can pop off some serious damage, but I'm not too worried about it. The cruisers themselves can handle themselves quite nicely. There's the Tachyon Beams for the battleships. Again, I'm not really all that worried. Yeah, we're up to 51. So, soon we'll see. Yeah, the, we just have the uh, one Guardian to go. And then the Ancient Vault will be our last target. This fleet is kind of overpowered. Normally, you can do this with like 30k. Uh, so, but it's taking a little bit longer than I wanted to to take the Enigmatic Fortress. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I wanted to do it a lot earlier. Mainly because the uh, power units that you can get out of it are so incredibly good. Okay. And the shields themselves. The shields are just as good as the as the hyper shielding. But they are actually, as in, they are better than the hyper shielding. But it costs the same amount of energy. Which is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a thing. Oh, speaking of which. Get a Frontier Hospital. Ooh, border range. Yes. Our Tachyon battleships. Did we lose one of them? Oh, wow. He killed one of our battleships. Unexpected. 
Okay, let's uh, speed this stuff up to normal. This is not going to last very long. Excuse me? You actually under attack sign ship? You shouldn't be. Hey, here we go. The Enigmatic Fortress. With the defeat of the defenses surrounding the ancient structure, we may find ways to explore its mysteries. Entering and traversing it may be difficult. However, whoever built, built it may have possessed technology we can hardly dream of. Making matters more audacious, the fortress itself seems to be recovering. Some of the people who have helped disarm the fortress have volunteered to attempt entering and exploring it with backup from the headquarters on Unity. Following through on our end will no doubt present its own challenging. Let's give the go ahead. The entrance. Despite the ages of technology separating us and the builders of the fortress, one invention is timeless. A closed door. Props to the people that wrote this, by the way. After having forced the fortress shut, uh, uh, for shut down, we found all entrance and shield sealed. The team dispatched to explore the fortress had found an airlock, which seems to uh, at least appears to be possible to open from the outside, if it had been in working order. All right, so we're being presented here with two options. We're going to send the fleet back home. What do we actually lose here? Four battleships? Holy shit, that's expensive. It's a good thing that uh, we can easily replace those. Okay, cool. So, we currently have the option to go for the Enigmatic Fortress. We can send a demolition team, which is a single transport ship, or we can give it a power surge, which requires one signed ship to be in orbit, which we will do. Let's send the signed ship out there. Uh, meanwhile, our fleet is retreating. There's a good reason for that. If this goes wrong, the entire system will explode. And I do mean that. Everything in the system can, in fact, explode. All right, there they go. Bye, have a good time. And boop. Okay, they're gone. Cool. Uh, local power search. Let's research it. So the local power search is going to give us two options. Uh, give it 500 power or 50 power. Now, normally you would think, you know, we can go for the more expensive one. It, it, it would speed things up, don't you think? Turns out that that is a huge red herring. And uh, you should never even think about touching uh, that one. Also, our fleet is so big that it's taking forever to, s to enter the wormhole. All right, cool. Adjusting the energy supply. Having stabilized ship connection to power systems of the fortress, we must decide how much energy is supplied into the first surge. Since the technology is unfamiliar, the exact amount is difficult to determine. Two estimates. We can go with the higher estimate, which is 500, or the lower estimate. Now, normally, like I said, you know, you're 500. That must be better, right? Well, it is not, actually. The airlock is open. At first, the amount of energy supplied to the fortress seems to be too small to make a difference. Then the area surrounding the airlock slowly started to show signs of malfunctioning. With some mechanical tricks and guesswork, the team accessed the controls and managed to open the airlock itself. Although not by the cleanest docking procedure, they are now inside the fortress. All right, they're in. Instantly, uh, the other species are... Starting to scan this uh, this system. Okay, we are now waiting for. Oh my lord! Uh, this is a lot more population than I accounted for. Uh, let me just uh, <laughs> get this party underway. Energy, 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 energy. Right, some more energy would be good. You, sir, are not ready to build the thing that we want you to build. Science. Uh, mine? Yeah, let's go for a mine. Uh, you're going to build a mine. It's actually quite surprising that the food is not yet a problem. Minus nine. It is a problem. Okay, so, uh, yeah, all the people in this uh, system are going to have a really bad time. There's the Huntfalier Republic. The f tower. Oh my God, they got a 70 size fleet. That's uh, bigger than ours. And the uh, Yondar Republic with their 10k fleet. Fortress, the tower. The away team finds their way blocked by a massive bulkhead. The team reports that there is a recessed alcove uh, to their right. Housing, a pedestal, and a contraption wrought in some black metal. as uh, The same black metal as the fortress itself. It's clearly gray. 
Thank you, Paradox. They believe this device is the key to opening the bulkhead. The leader of the explorers describes it as a three-way uh, upright pole spaced, I don't even, equidistant? Equidistant, so the same distance across the top. Damn you Swedes with your vocabulary. With three rings and metal tori of varying sizes placed around the... Anyway, blah de blah blah it's it's the third option. Fortress is rebuilt. Uh, after the course of action was announced, a moment of silence followed, and we can laugh about it now. That's nice. Yeah, they're all just, you know, they're all just popping in and out. See what they can do. Okay. Uh, quantum destabilizer. Very nice. Uh, curator Ar uh, Archaeology Lab. 38 months. Very nice. Really? Starvation. I wonder maybe it had something to do with the fact that you all just bum-rushed this goddamn planet. You thought about that. The pivot. Um, the black hole research, use force, or the homestead system research. Uh, this, the team reports that they have reached what appears to be a geometric center of the fortress, even, though, even if the internal geometry leaves some doubt if the concept of a center is even relevant in here. What is indisputably relevant is how the fortress is powered which makes the team's new discovery all the more interesting. Dark matter is funneled through the fortress and then back into the core, like a cardiovascular system. Although the flow has stopped, the team has found signs that it started again. We can take all the time we want to study it, but it needs to stop now. I'll find a way. So we are presented with three options. Uh, demolition team, uh, which leads to the shut to the heart event. Pro tip, unless you are, unless you're willing to give up all the technology from this and blow up the system, possible, uh, if you are in fact a Tomb World species, it may be interesting uh, because it will turn every single planet in the system into a Tomb World, including the gas giant, which gives you like 32 tile worlds. Uh, this, this, this system is kind of barren, actually. This is not, this is not the, the, the system. It's over here, yeah. Uh, there's actually a bunch of planets in here that may be interesting, but still, um, yeah. Don't don't go for the demolition team. You get the shot through the heart event. Uh, I could actually use it and blow up the Hanfalier Empire's everything. Like I could crush their fleet right now if I use shot through the heart. I'm not even kidding. It's actually quite a viable strategy. What I am going to do, however, is going to go for the home system research, which requires a single scientist. It adds another event. Uh, we can go for the black hole research, which is... That's nice. Uh, we can go for the black hole research one, which requires a, uh, a scientist of plus five, and we'll instantly add, uh, end the chain and finish the uh, whole thing. However, we're going to go for the home system research. Uh, we need a scientist in orbit. They should be here. Uh, what? What? Okay. Uh, yes. Are you not? Okay. Is it not available yet? Uh, oh, right. Uh, we need to move it to the actual star. That's far more important. So let's do this research project. These guys are still hungry. Uh, pretty hungry, actually. It's not, not too great. Let's give you some food, shall we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're researching this now. It's going to be done in 99 days. As soon as that is done, we're getting another event involving three options. Let's go to fastest for now so we can get past this bit as soon as possible. 70 days. But yeah, use force. I highly recommend not to do it. It's uh, It blows up the entire system and any ship that is in there. Uh, the black hole research is kind of usable as well, but you need a scientist of uh, five or higher, which is arguably not the greatest in the world. So, and This is going to be done in 10 days anyway. And boop. All right, so 
Uh, scurrying the local star for clues and how the fortress was built, we discovered a surprising secret. A fine mist of nanotechnical cameras has been found in close proximity to the star, acting as the eyes of the fortress and explaining the efficiency of its defenses. Accessing these with data from the fortress, we can view the history of the system all the way back to its construction. However, we are running out of time. Which part of the construction process should we review for answers? The answer is, in fact, the middle. The middle path. Well deserved. We got all the technology we wanted. Good. The middle section of the footage, although not showing the construction of the core itself, reveals the shipping of materials to the fortress, which scientists conclude must have been used for the core. This, uh, must, uh, this must have been the critical time which construction needed power for, con uh, for construction to continue. Destruction, blah, blah, blah. Uh, with knowledge of these materials, the team inside the fortress has managed to stop it from repowering, and we can now recap the fruits of our success. So we get so much engineer, uh, so much research. We get 4,000 engineering, 3,200 physics, and 2,000 society, plus access to enigmatic deflectors, power generation, encoder, decoder, disruption field, and all these technologies we get 30% of science of. That's a huge bonus. It cannot be understated on how important this is. Uh, let's go and take a look at our technology here, if we can actually get access to it right now. Yeah, there they are. How long would it take? 72 months. That is doable. Um, the enigmatic shields. So the enigmatic shields cost 60 power to use on the large... Th so it's 15, 30, 60. So if we go to our ship designer... Large is, oh, it's actually more. I did not, I thought it was, I did not see that coming. That is unfortunate. Uh, that means we need to go for an enigmatic power core and actually upgrade that. It's only 20 months to uh, living metal, which is great. Uh, gives us that bonus. But yeah, there you have it. The enigmatic fortress has been uncovered by the United Human Planets. Until next time, to take good care of yourselves and each other.